Hello, good evening, and welcome to Coldwater High School here tonight on WOSN. We've got a fantastic early season volleyball matchup between the visiting Shawnee Indians and the homestanding Coldwater Cavaliers. I'm Garrett C. Wright, joined alongside Jeff Overholt, and we've got all the action for you tonight from inside the palace. And Jeff, for a pair of squads that each only lost two games last year, somebody's going home with an early season loss tonight. Yeah, there's going to be a chance for some bragging rights between the Midwest Athletic Conference and also the Western Buckeye League. Both these teams went 24 and two last year. And boy, you look at uh, Shawnee, they lost to Coldwater and to Lake High School from Millbury, Ohio. And Coldwater, they lost to New Bremen and St. Henry. So this is an early matchup. You know, the one thing you and I were talking about, Coldwater already 3-0, Shawnee 1-0. Coldwater has more of an advantage because of playing more with the spike off on Saturday. Yeah, you get that opportunity to knock off the rust, so to speak, where Shawnee's coming off their uh, season opener last night, a game at Bluffton. They won three sets to one over the Pirates uh, in the northern portion of Allen County, where, like Jeff said, Coldwater won its invitational on Saturday in six sets, two-set win over St. Mary's, a two-set win over Fort Warren, a two-set win over Ottawa Glandorf. And they grabbed their own title. A team that went to the district finals a season ago where they lost to St. Henry. Meanwhile, Shawnee last year made it to the regional semifinals before they were dropped by Millbury Lake. Goldwater returns with the Midwest Athletic Conference Player of the Year in Spencer Ensler. She wears number 13 on the far side of the court for the Coldwater Cavaliers. Shawnee. A little bit of youth and experience for the Indians. Had a lot of experience last year with Grace Freiberger and Kelly Cooper. As you see, Libero, Maggie Jordan enter the lineup. Wearing that white jersey for the Shawnee Indians on the right side of your screen. Generally don't have to give uniform descriptions on TV, but we got two black uniform teams. Coldwater with the orange sleeves and Shawnee on the right side of your screen with the majority black uniforms. As Coldwater will get to set to serve first with Mia Kanapke doing the honors. Kanapke will send it away from the near corner. Floated into the far corner on the back side. Set by Brooke Hutchins, or I beg your pardon, Carly Hutchins. Brooke Hutchins is the Shawnee head coach as it's rolled back over by Coldwater. Dug out by Jordan. Hutchins, the set to her sister, Carly Hutchins, off a pair of Cavaliers and down. However, they say it went outside the candy cane and the first point of the evening goes to Coldwater. Well, that was a tough break. That was right there, <laughs> close to the line. So Kadapke continues to serve. Gets it just over the top of the net. As Hutchins has the long run to get it. Just a little long in the back row on the swing from Josie Hutchins, the freshman. And it's a 2-0 advantage for Coldwater here early on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Kanapke, the 5'8 junior, will send it away one more time. Looking to make it 3 0. That one received much better by Shawnee. A swing in the middle by Leah Rudisil. All right, beg your pardon, Mackenzie Brickner. And a swing. That was by Harlow Hine that was sideways and went out of bounds. Just so point for Shawnee. Yeah, just a little wide there on the far side as that brings up Carly Hutchins to serve for the first time. 5'9 junior. Got a lot of playing time last year for the Indians. Got that one just over the top of the net. Received by Etzler. Swung on. Dug out by Rudisil. Back set from Hutchins. Swung on by Upshaw. Off the rafters on the return by Campbell Etzler. And down. And we are all knotted up at two. Well, that was a good spike by Upshaw. And a left-hander, I might add. Tough to handle from that far side. Yes. Carly Hutchins sends it away one more time into the back row. Dug out by Campbell Etzler. Kanapke sets up Morgan Blasen game. Put a mm -hmm. lot of steam on that one. And it's a 3-2 advantage for the Cavs. Yeah, she had at least 16 kills in the championship of the spike off. That'll bring up Blasen game to serve now. Knuckleball received in the back row by Jordan. Hutchins back set. Brickner tipped at the net. Dug out by Spencer Etzler. Kanapke swung on by Blossom game from behind the 10 foot line. Received by Jordan. Carly Hutchins. Josie Hutchins, I beg your pardon, a little wide. And the point goes to Coldwater. 
or they'll keep serve. Lawson game with the wow. ace. Got it just over the tape inside the line on the near side. And it's an early three-point advantage for the Cavaliers. Lawson game, a 5'11 senior. That one popped into the air by Rudis Hill. Hutchins over by Upshaw, the freshman, swung on. Dug out by Coldwater Spencer. Etzler runs, attacks, dug out by Hutchins. Dumped back over into the far corner. Etzler, the return. Spencer Etzler will send it back over. Upshaw finds a corner. Nobody home for the Cavaliers. And that will shrink the lead to two. Well, I'll tell you what, that left-hander Upshaw knows exactly what corner to put that volleyball. 5'10 freshman showing impressive skills in varsity game number two as Kanapke will set it over to Etzler. Dug out by Jordan. Near side, Rudisil tips it over. Etzler will roll into the near corner. Dug out. Hutchins is set. Upshaw into the back row, Blossom game to dig. Passed over to Etzler. Blocked at the net and down. That was a good block by Mackenzie Brickner. Saw it the whole way. And now the cold water lead is just one. 5-4 here in the early going of set number one on the ultimate scoreboard. Etzler the swing. Ooh, Pushed it wide. Just, yeah. So now all knotted up at five, three in a row scored. Body Indians. There's Josie Hutchins, another freshman. Into the far corner. Kanapke, back set. Roaring at the swing. Tipped at the net. Upshaw, blocked right at the net. And pushed over. Trying to catch the Indians napping. Carly Hutchins, pass to Rudisil. Tipped at the net by Harlow. And Harlow Hine gets it over to Etzler, who dumps it over. Swung on by Hutchins. That's on the pass near side. Rolled over by Olivia Broering. Hutchins back set. Upshaw block. Kept alive by Hutchins. What a rally. Rudisil the swing for the near side. Kept alive. Kanapke pokes it high in the air. Campbell Etzler will pass to Spencer Etzler. Dug out by Josie Hutchins. Rudisil cuts it down the far side. Kanapke back set. Blazin game oh. off of Hutchins and down. Boy, what a volley. Fantastic work here in the early season and the early stages of set number one. Nobody wanted to let that ball touch the floor. And it gives the Cavaliers back that 6-5 lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here Kanapke serves it just long. Tried to tuck it inside that back line. And that evens things at six. Brings up Mackenzie Brickner to serve, a 5'9 senior. Wearing number 12, stuck it just over the top of the team. Pass in the middle of Spencer Etzler, a little too much mustard on that one. Giving Shawnee the advantage, 7-6. Brickner will serve one more time. Pushed it a little long. And that evens things once more at seven. Brings up Harlow Hine to serve. Well, not a whole lot of separation early. No, sir. As Hine pushes into the back row. Hutchins into the near side. Rudisil into the far corner. Kanapke takes a swing out of the center. Kept alive by Sean A. Kanapke. Pushes it to the far side. Exler up high and down hard for the 8-7 advantage for the Cavaliers. Now Spencer Etzler and Morgan Blassen game. They were really on their game this past Saturday. Boy, and how many times have you seen this early too long of a serve? Yeah, just got to get it. And that's, I think you'll see that in the early season where you get that try to fine tooth comb it just a little bit and can't get it in as Gianna Upshaw serves, received by Coldwater. Etzler on the wide side of the near side, kept alive 
by the Indians, and they mm. dig it just inside the line of Gianna Upshaw. A kill. And that is her third, and she is finding the corner early. Upshaw serve with the 9-8 lead for the Indians. That one, just a little long one more time. I don't know if you remember the old time volleyball that, you know, the, if that went out, it was just okay, just, just yeah, serve well, it on the other side, and that's it. Not anymore. Played a 15, yeah. and the game takes twice as long as what it did. We get to go to 25 as Etzler down that far side, right down the line. Swung on, dug out after the swing from Addie Kriegel. Spencer Etzler rolls it over. Carly Hutchins, cross court pass. The Ruta still blocked at the net. Completely by Paige Ontrop, and it's a 10-9 lead for the Cavaliers. Etzler sends it away. Into the back row for an ace. Spencer Etzler, one of the better servers in the area. Has a, had a plethora of aces last year. Tallies one right there to grow the lead to two. Got it just over the top of the tape as Hutchins tries to dump it into campfire and does. Harlow Hyde was able to nick it, but just a heads up play there by the Indians to cut the lead back down to one. Russell will send it away into the back row, dug out by Campbell. That's certainly a Kadabke. Over to Blasen game. Great diving save by Rudisil. Hutchins takes a swing, dug out by the Cavaliers. Kanapke, Blazing game, dug out by the Indians. On the run, swung on into the back row, and Kanapke gets a kill of her own. And I was just thinking, what is the largest lead? Actually, is five to two, Coldwater. Yeah, a three-point lead. Yep. When that feels like pulling away, <laughs> played a tight first set here as Campbell Etzler serves down the far line, Hutchins. And a swing and a kill for Addie Kriegel right in the middle. Great quick set there by Carly Hutchins. And it's a 12-11 lead for the Cavaliers with the Indians serving. 5-5 senior Maggie Jordan will send it away. Dug out by Spencer Etzer. Kanapke back set. Blossingate climbs the ladder and it's just wide. So we are all even at 12 once more. Jordan will serve once more. Kanabke, quick back set to Blazing game, and that will find the floor. Morgan Blazing game averaged seven kills per set in the six sets they played on Saturday with wins over St. Mary's, Fort Laramie, and Ottawa Glandorf. Kanabke with the ace right down the line. Lead quickly grows back to two and 14 12. Hutchins, the pass, Rudisil. I beg your pardon, Brickner got it over. Dumped into the far corner, dug out by the, cow, by the Indians. Hutchins tried to quickly dump it over. Blazing game up I'm high and down you. hard. Yep. That's a difficult thing to handle there. You get a quick set right there in the middle. You got all the court to work with. The lead grows back to three as Kanapke. Pushes it away. Hutchins on the run. Josie Hutchins blocked by the Cavaliers. Josie Hutchins will try to tip it over that time. Kanapke, quick set, blazing game. Down. So the largest lead of set number one. Now at four points for Coldwater, 16-12 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Josie Hutchins takes a little off that one. Kanapke, back set, Harlow Hine to swing. And number two was in the net, which is Josie Hutchins. We'll get a timeout called by Shawnee as they'll regroup. Cavaliers in their largest lead is set number one. More first set action when we return here on WOSN.
Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. 17-12 on that Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Coldwater with its largest lead of set number one, and they're serving to try to grow it. As Mia Kanapke will send it away. One of those times you can't afford a service error coming out of the timeout, and you get it at a bad time. And that makes Lima Shawnee a good call in calling a timeout. Yeah, just kill that momentum. It's Carly Hutchins pushes it over the top of the tape. Kanapke. Back set. Blasingan climbs the ladder. Did she get it inside the line? Yes. She did. You know, this is exactly what Coldwater did to Fort Loramie on Saturday. It was a close matchup, back and forth, and then all of a sudden, Coldwater on a run. Blasingan will send it away into the back row. Jordan to pass. Upshaw the swing with the left hand. Kanapke. Cross court pass to Spencer Etzler. Dug out by Jordan. Brickner tries to dump it into the campfire. Etzler, one pass to another as Spencer Etzler swings on it. Jordan, the pass to Josie Hutchins. Returned and sent right back to the floor by Mackenzie Brickner. That was a good one. That cuts the lead back down to four. We start to enter the closing stages here of set number one. Hutchins into the near corner. Kanapke back set. Spencer Etzler rolls it over. Jordan, cross court pass to Upshaw. Got a great beat on it. Off the floor, another kill for Gianna Upshaw. Coldwater wants a timeout of their own. We'll take it as well. 18 15 here in set number one. Back with more first set action. Coming up on WOSN. Shawnee looking to climb back into this one in set number one, trailing 18-15. However, Josie Hutchins will serve, trying to shrink that lead. Dug out of the back row by Campbell. That's our cross-court pass. Morgan Blossom game from behind the 10-foot line. Dug out by Jordan. Near side, Rudisil a swing. And down for the kill for Leah Rudisil. Cut the lead to two on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Hutchins, Lolly pops it into the back row. Kanapke, cross court pass, Etzler with a running start, and more often than not, she'll find the floor with that opportunity. Kira Kanapke, the 5'10 junior, will step in to serve for the Cavaliers. As we mentioned, 3-0 on the season after winning their own invitational. Oh, oh man, oh, that's that was a, bad. That's a, it just happens. That's a tough one there yeah. for Maggie Jordan was trying to get out of the way, knew it was going to go a little bit long, and got her. She's chuckling about it. Believe it or not, that goes for an ace. So 2016 now on the scoreboard. It's that one pushed a little long as well, Mike and Abby. I think that first one was going to be long yeah, too. It was just, she, I think Maggie Jordan thought, I got to get out of the way of this thing. And unfortunately, it got her. And then. You see, win one, you lose one. It's a 2017 game. There's Brickner, the serve. Esser, the swing, and the kill. Indians thought it was out. Line judge says it got inside the line. I think they may have had a touch on that at the net, so. Four-point lead for Coldwater. With Harlow High. Sending it away to 5'11 freshman. Gets a little top spin on it. As Carly Hutchins back sets Gianna Upshaw dug out by the Cavaliers. Kanapke. Etzler finds the floor. To throw the lane back to five. Hein will send it away one more time. Return on one from the Indians. Blossom game from behind the 10-foot line. Put it in the net. And the lead shrinks back to four. You know, you're not going to see that very often. No, sir. 
Cavaliers have a 51% kill percentage coming into today as the serve from Upshaw received in the back row. Etzler tips it over and down. That was soft. Got the change up, perfect spot, perfect placement. And now the Cavaliers are two points away from taking set number one. Etzler moves to the far corner to serve. Knuckleball into the back row. Hutchins dumps into the campfire. Etzler ready for it. Kanapke does the same. Dug out by the Indians. Rudisil the swing and she'll find the floor. Uh, you know as well as I know, volleyball is all about momentum. Yes, sir. Those timeouts come important throughout the set. That's Rudisil. Sends it down the far side. Kanapke will tip it over. Pop back up by Jordan. Near side swing, Josie Hutchins off of Campbell Etzler and down. And into the net was Maya Kanapke for Coldwater. 23-20 now the score on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Popped over, far side. Kanapke blossom came up high and down hard. Hammer meat and nail on that far side. And now that'll bring up set point. I got seven kills for Blasting King already that's, in this first set. That's the, the average she had on Saturday. As Campbell Etzler got it just oh, over wow. the top of the tape, hits the floor, and Coldwater will take set number one, 25-20. On a perfectly placed ball. And we'll go to set number two when we return. Cavaliers with a 1-0 advantage after one here on WOSN. Set number two about to get underway. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Coldwater takes set number one, 25-20. As we get set for set number two here, Steve Trout will make sure everybody's on the floor that's supposed to be where they're supposed to be before we get underway. An impressive first set for Morgan Blasen game. Seven kills there, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Along with two points. Um, also, Mia Kanapke had six points to lead Coldwater. Also, Gianna Upshaw, the freshman, had four kills for Lima Shawnee and Josie Hutchins with three service points. So Shawnee will send it away to begin set number two. Carly Hutchins will do the honors. Down the far line, Kanapke back set Blazing game and Coldwater starts set number two where they left off in set number one with a Morgan Blazing game kill. Kanapke, the setter for Coldwater, will send it away. Average 12 assists in the first three contests of the season. First set, Gianna Upshaw swings. Kanapke sets up Blossing in, blocked at the net by Brigner, but off her and down, and it's 2 nothing Coldwater. Mia Kanapke, Hutchins has to run. Couldn't get a great pass on it. And that'll find the floor. And the Cavaliers open up a 3-0 lead. Jordan to receive on the Kanapke serve. Swung on. Hutchins pushed it wide. And it's 4-0 Cavaliers. The 5A junior. Mia Kanapke dug out by Jordan in the back row. Hutchins cross court pass. Upshaw up high for the first point of the set for Shawnee. Yeah, they needed that one. Yeah, 5'10 freshman Gianna Upshaw. Swings with that left hand, just changes things up just a little bit from a receive perspective as Josie Hutchins will serve. Pushed it all the way back over and joust at the net. And the Cavaliers are in the net. 
You know, I'll give Hutchins an ace on that one. Really not being handled. Cuts the lead back to two. Hutchins stings it just over the top of the tape. Puts it right back. Rotisil the swing. Rolled over. And it, somehow the Indians wow. got it over. Kanapke, quick set, blossom game blocked at the net, pushed back over by the Cavaliers. Hutchins, back set, Upshaw, left hand swing, denied, nearly kicked over by Josie Hutchins. Well, it's outside the antenna, and the lead goes back to three for Coldwater. Well, for Upshaw, she had to get it doubly blocked on that one by Broaring and by Blasting Game. Blasting Game serves into the back row. Hutchins, near side, Rudisil off the Cavalier, blocking down. Kenzie Brickner serving for the Indians. Put it in a perfect spot. Cavaliers will chase. Can they get it over? They cannot. And Brickner's cut the lead to one. And that is a service ace for Brickner. What started as a 4-0 advantage here in set number two for Coldwater has quickly become a 5-4 advantage for the home team. Brickner sends it away. Received. Spencer Etzler the swing and the kill. By the way, you bring up Spencer Etzler. She had five kills in set number one. The reigning Mac co-player of the year, her and Melina Schrader, the setter for New Bremen, shared the honors in 2023. Both seniors this year. As the Indians try to hit it back over, Rodasil the swing and a kill. Played back down to one at 6-5. Gianna Upshaw to serve. Impressive freshman, knuckleball into the far corner. Kanapke to answer, tried to tip it, blocked and down. And the advantage. Now with Shawnee. Harley Hutchins with the block and point, Shawnee. Upshaw the serve. Kanapke, back set. Harlow Hyde, the kill. She had two kills coming into today. After starting 4 0 here in set number two, Coldwater finds itself trailing by one as Hyde sends it over. Rolled back over by the Indians. Kanapke, back set, blossom game behind the 10 foot line, and we're knotted up at seven. Hey, you wonder if teams are not ready for that. They're used to up to the net, not back behind the 10 foot line. Yeah, it's a, especially when you can put that much mustard on it, as blossom game can. As that point goes. To Shawnee. Sent over by the Indians. Etzler, the swing, popped up. Hutchins in the middle, and nobody home for the Cavaliers in the deep corner. And the kill goes to Liz Kinnear. Down the far side on the swing from Rudisil. Back set from Kanapke. Tried to find the Indians nap and did not. Rudisil from behind the 10 foot line. Couldn't get it over. And it's a one point advantage once more for the Cavaliers on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard here in set number two. Cavaliers took set number one, 25 20. Have not dropped a set this season. As the ace. Oh, that was miscommunication on that one. For the home team there, Spencer Etzler. Grabs another ace. The blossom game had eight over the weekend. As Etzler looks for another one. The lead grows back to three. 
for the Cavaliers at 11-8. Etzer will continue to serve. Knuckleball right in the middle of the floor. Carly Hutchins, the pass, blocked on the swing by Kinnear. Etzer the dig, Kanapke, back set, Blossom game far side. Jordan, a great dig from behind a 10-foot line. A little too much sauce on it from Rudisil. And a lead back to four for the Cavaliers. Etzer continues to serve. Down that far side, Hutchins, quick pass. Kept alive by the Cavaliers. Blossom game, far side, dug out by Jordan. Hutchins behind the 10-foot line. Etzler another dig, played it off the bottom of the rafters, got a funky spin on it, and the point goes to the Indians. That stops the bleeding for just a bit. Shrinks the lead back down to three. It's Maggie Jordan. And uncharacteristic, put it right into the net. For the lead back to four is Campbell Etzler, the 5-5 freshman. We'll send it away. Josie Hutchins tucks it inside the back line for the kill. Thirteen to ten on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yes, Carly Hutchins serves. Popped up by the Cavaliers, Etzer, cross-court pass. And we get a double hit I was on say, cold I, I thought that we were getting over there that just a little early season miscommunication where two players go for the same real estate. Cuts the lead back down to two. Hutchins to serve, Kanapke, cross-court pass to Blasen game for another kill. Got to need 11 now for Blasting wow. Game. Hit 14 11 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Skanapke serves into the back row. Hutchins back to sister Josie Hutchins. Skanapke dumps it in the campfire. Nobody home. Ooh, they're going to call, call it a double, double contact hit. there. Or, in other words, a carry. They call it double hit or a carry. Lead back down to two as Josie Hutchins serves. Kanapke, back set, Blasen game, returned by the Indians as Upshaw will swing. Kanapke to the far side, blocked at the net. Blasen game has to set Etzler. She'll dump it over. Jordan, the pass to Upshaw. Tries to get it down the line off of Etzler, and the lead's down to one. Hey, Gianna. Upshaw is not playing like a freshman. No, sir. Special game number two of, of the high school season. Having a fantastic opening week. Indians keep it alive. Upshaw will get another chance at it. As Spencer Edsler tried to keep it up and over. Can't. And we're tied at 14. Coldwater has grown the lead to four twice here in set number two. Shawnee's clawed back each time. Hutchins just over the tape. Kanapke at the net. And the lead now rests with Shawnee. Well, that was a net violation over the top of the net. Hutchins serves once more. Cross court pass. Harlow Hine dumps it over. Cross court. As Upshaw will swing, and another kill for Gianna Upshaw. The lead, now two for Shawnee. That's her biggest. Coldwater wants to talk about it. We will as well. 16-14, set number two. Indians with the advantage here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring a resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space 
by Ultimate Outdoor. 16-14, Shawnee the advantage here in set number two after climbing back a couple of times for being down four as Morgan Blasingame shrinks the lead to one on another kill by the 5'11 senior. That comes right after a timeout again. Blasingame had 42 kills in the three games at the Coldwater Spike Off. Lee grows back to two for Shawnee. And that will bring up Mackenzie Brickner to serve one more time for the Shawnee Indians. 5'9", senior. Wow. And she'll cut the lead back down to one for Coldwater as we trade service errors. And Kira Kanapke will now serve for the Cavaliers, looking to even things up at 17 apiece as Hutchins. Pass to Kinnear, dug out by Kanapke. Blossing game from behind the 10-foot line. No, Upshaw far side. Diving dig by Kanapke. Etzler takes some off of it. A great pancake by the Indians. They're able to roll it over. Etzler, Kanapke, back to Etzler. Blocked and down for the Indians. Liz Kinnear with a nice block and then back over on the other side. It's an 18-16 advantage now for the Indians. As Upshaw will step back to serve. She'll send it away from the middle of the back row. Kanapke, Etzler. Not a lot you can do with that, but the Indians do. And here again. Got the fingertip on it. Etzler swung the hammer, dug out by the Indians. They tip it back over. It's a three-point lead for the visitors. Upshaw into the back row. Kanapke, cross-court pass. Swung on, and the lead now is four for the Indians. And the Cavaliers want to talk about it. They now trail 20 to 16 here in set number two. We'll step aside as well. More set two action when we return on WOSN. Approaching the closing stages of set number two, Shawnee with a 20 to 16 advantage over Coldwater. They trailed by four points twice here in set number two as the Cavaliers try to climb back. Etzler runs, attacks, and kills. Twenty seventeen. Coldwater looking to build some momentum here in the end of set number two. Hutchins, the pass, dug out by the Cavaliers. Kanapke, Etzler, into the back row, and another kill for Spencer Etzler. That's her eighth overall. So the lead down to two. Grew to as many as four for Shawnee. As Harlow Hine, sidewinder on the far side. Swing, dug out by the Cavaliers. Kanapke over to Etzler, takes some off of it. Quick set to Kinnear, dug out by Kanapke. Etzler, far side, swung on by Jordan. And it's in the net, unplayable for the Indians. And now the lead has shrunk to one. Yeah, for Coldwater, it's not a blasting game. And right now, it's Spencer Esther. Hine will serve one more time. Jordan, Hutchins, back set. Kinnear, off of Hine for the point. Grow the lead to two. You know what has helped Shawnee to get the lead has been Kinnear. That's Absolutely. Her fourth, her fourth kill here in set two. Rudisil to serve. Kanapke. That's her in the middle, tipped at the net by the Indians. Hutchins, the swing, blocked. Actually, Hutchins' yep, that swing never, hit the top of yep, the net. Never yeah. got it over. And so now the lead's back down to one. And Spencer Etzler 
who went on a quite the run serving earlier in the set. Serves, trailing by one as Hutchins blocked it, got it blocked, hit it twice, and we are dotted up at 21. Cavaliers took set number one, 25-20, as Spencer Etzler serves down the far line. And Hutchins just has to bump it over. Kanapke will take a swing off of an Indian and down in the lead, back to Coldwater. Indians take a timeout, trailing by one. We'll keep it here, 22-21. The score in set number two. Coldwater, 3-0. Shawnee, 1-0. Both squads, 24-2 a season ago and a back and forth set two here as Coldwater led 4-0. Shawnee climbed back to make it 5-4. Coldwater grew the advantage back out by four points later in the set and then Shawnee went on a run growing their lead to as much as four at 2016 when Coldwater took a timeout and the Cavaliers have responded. They've scored six points in the time that Shawnee has scored one, and that's how we find ourselves at this 22-21 score here in the late stages of set number two. Yeah, Coldwater very happy with the spike off that they had on the weekend of winning the championship. And in talking to Lima Shawnee head coach Brooke Hutchins, she said she lost to some key seniors off of last year's team, but looking to rebuild and not lose any momentum with the freshmen on the squad. And so far, I don't think they have uh, disappointed at all. Oh, absolutely not. As the Cavaliers continue to serve Spencer Atzler into the back row. Josie and Carly Hutchins, I beg your pardon, the attack, the swing, and we are tied at 22 apiece. Maggie Jordan to serve. Kanapke, flossing game. Got it down for the point. Well, seven kills in the first set, six more here in the second set. Still a couple of points to play. As Campbell Etzler sends it away. Jordan, bump it over. Kanapke, blossing game right in the middle of the floor. Wow. And she climbs the ladder to get it down. Set point. Timeout called by the Indians will stay here as well. 24-22. And set number two, as I mentioned, Coldwater won 25-20. Cavaliers back in action on Thursday against Bell Fountain. And then we'll play Crestview next Tuesday. Meanwhile, for Shawnee, they're going to play Elida on Thursday night in the Western Buckeye League. So not a ton of time before they get a Western Buckeye League contest. And they'll also play Elida on Saturday. So quite the first week of action or so for the Shawnee Indians. Got a game last night, game tonight, game Thursday, game Saturday. Coldwater played three times last Saturday. Play tonight, play Thursday. Not a lot of time to get acclimated to the 24, 2024 season. You know, Garrett, though, you look at, thank goodness for these teams, Shawnee and Coldwater, these are non-league matchups. No, I, so they're getting their feet in the water early and then get ready for their respective yeah, play, play Very good non-conference schedules. It's Campbell, Campbell Etzler serving with a set point. On the line, into the back row. It's dug out by the Indians as Josie Hutchins will roll it over. Kanapke, blossom game looking to end this set and does. Cavaliers trailed by four at 2016. They rally to take set two, 25-22. We'll step aside, come back with third set action here in this early season non-conference matchup on WOSN. Set number three about to get underway. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate 
Outdoor. Coldwater has two sets in hand, one set number one, 25-20, and set number two, 25 22 here in this early season non-conference volleyball matchup. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Jeff Overholzer here in cold water. It's, we get set for set number three. Cavaliers, I'm sure, would like to close it out here in set number three while Shawnee is looking to extend things just a little bit. Indians played a four-set game last night in Bluffton. Meanwhile, Cavaliers have yet to drop a set this season. Two set wins over St. Mary's, Fort Warming, and out of Glendorf. It's a cold water spike off. First point of set number three yet to be decided as Spencer Etzler will swing. Dug out by the Indians. Josie Hutchins dug out by the Cavaliers. Popped up. Etzler far side. Off the libero and down for the first point of set number three for the Cavs. Spencer Etzler, her 10th kill overall tonight. Harlow Hine, the 5'11 freshman. Serving into the back row, a little top spin on it. Hutchins, cross court pass behind the 10 foot line, just missed timed a little bit by Leah Rudisil. Playing in that back row behind the 10 foot line, and it's 2 0 cold water. Hutchins, cross court pass to Josie Hutchins, and she'll find the floor. Shrinking that lead in half. You're talking about a freshman there, too. Yeah, the, the freshman for Shawnee have played really yeah. well tonight. Gianna Upshaw, Josie Hutchins done a nice job attacking the volleyball for the Indians. As Carly Hutchins will send it away down the far side. Kanapke. Pass to Etzler, dug out by Hutchins. Jordan. Pass to Hutchins once more behind the 10-foot line. Blocked at the net by the Cavaliers. Blossom game from behind the attack line as well. Finds the floor. And stop me if you've heard that before, but Morgan Blossom game with the kill. Only 16 times so wow. far tonight. Spencer Etzer now serving. She did the honors to pull Coldwater back in set number two after trailing by four in the late stages. The Cavaliers keep the ball alive. Blossom game dug out by Jordan. Backspin, but wide. And the kill for Blossom game. And that went up about three rows in the bleachers. Yes, sir. And it had quite the spin action on it. Etzler will continue to serve. It's a 4 1 lead for the Cavaliers on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Hutchins back set. Blocked at the net by the Cavaliers. That was a good play by Paige Ontrop. It's the lead. Back out to four. For the Cavaliers at 5-1. And Spencer Etzler sends it down the far side and an ace for the senior in the last year's Mac Co Player of the Year. Her third ace tonight. 5 point advantage now for the Cavaliers. Upshaw the swing, rolling down the tape. Kanapke tries to dump it in the campfire. Got it in a corner instead. No, call a double hit. Oh, yeah. That was a nice placing of the volleyball, but they called double hit. Well, double contact, and now the officials will chat about it. Yep. And the point goes to Shawnee. 6-2 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Kanapke, back set, looking for Ontrop, dug out. Upshaw will swing once herself, but she's blocked into that by Blasing game. So lead back out to five for the Cavaliers as Ontrop will take a seat on the bench. Olivia Broering subs back in for Coldwater. And Campbell Etzler, the libero for the home team, sends it away. Hutchins, Rudisil, long. Oh, it's cold tipped. water was in the net. That was blasting game. So the point goes to Shawnee instead. And that lets Brickner serve. Just over the top of the tape. 
as Blossom Game will swing wide open spot in the floor. And it's a five point advantage for the Cavaliers once more. And she only needs one more kill for 20. Kanapke to serve. Jordan the dig. Hutchins, Upshaw, off the cold water block and down. Hutchins, her ninth kill overall. You can say she's a scintillating freshman, just as Hutchins is, too. Spencer Etzler speaking to our, our R1 official. Now, she's got an official explanation. And now Gianna Upshaw will serve long. Yeah, in that case, only the captain can go over and talk to the R1. Otherwise, I don't think any of the other players can do that other than the coach. So after the service error, Cavalier serving. Rudy still dug out by Etzer, Kanapke. Back set, and just long from Olivia Roaring. Cavalier faithful thought she had tucked it on the line. Did not, the lead shrinks to four. Coldwater's been in control of set number three thus far. Etzler, Kanapke, Etzler, dug out by Jordan. Hutchins, a long pass to Kinnear. Kept alive by the Cavaliers, rolled over by Etzler. Hutchins, cross-court pass, tipped over by Josie Hutchins. Tough play on the receive by Blasing Game, and a point goes to Shawnee. Rudusil to serve. Kanapke to Etzler, dug out by Jordan. Great play as Hutchins will roll it over. Try to be dumped over by Kanapke. Kept alive, Josie Hutchins tips it over. Blossom game, pushes. Returned by Shawnee. Off the block and down, Kinnear with the kill. He is getting in a spark, that's her fifth kill of the night. Midway point there, that second set, she really came on, got a couple of consecutive points. As Rudisil serves it away. Kanapke, Atzler a running start, and she's got it inside the line. You had a one-two punch for Coldwater with Spencer Etzler yeah. with 11 and Morgan Blassingame with 19 kills. Just as many options as they've got. It's, you can't key on one. It's Hutchins back sets. And it's an 11 7 advantage for Coldwater. Oh, you can go to Spencer Etzer or you can go to Morgan Blasing game. It's a tough one two combo to beat. Yes. Kira Kanapke sends it into the back row. Hutchins tries to dump it over. It's sent right back to him. As Hutchins tries to back set to Rudisil. Kept alive by the Cavaliers and they get it back over. Wow, good play. Josie Hutchins off the block and down. Hutchins was saying, you know, we're not going to be denied on this one. We're going to get it. It's a great volley. Two very good volleyball teams. 11-8 here in set number three. Jordan, the serve. Kanapke, cross-court pass. Etzler blocked at the net. And out of play, the point to the Cavaliers. Arlo Hying back to surf cold water. Got it just over the top of the tape. As Josie Hutchins blocked, kept alive by the Indians momentarily, but it finds the floor. Lead back to five for Coldwater. Ultimate outdoor scoreboard reads 13-8. Cavaliers looking to close things out in three sets here. High into the corner. Hutchins, pass up ahead, tipped over by Brickner. Blossing game from behind the 10-foot line, kept alive by the Indians. Rudisil blocked at the net by on dropping down. And it's 14-8. 
And with that six-point advantage for Coldwater, the Indians will take a timeout. We will as well. Third set action coming up when we return here on WOSN. <laughs> Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. That scoreboard reads 14-8 Coldwater as the Indians try to cut the lead. Tipped over by Carly Hutchins. Cavaliers can't get it back over and the lead will shrink back to five. See if the Indians can put together a little momentum out of that timeout from Brooke Hutchins. As Carly Hutchins will serve. The junior. Mm. With the service error. Gets the lead back out to six at 15-9. And Spencer Etzler serving, which is probably not what the Indians wanted to see. Hutchins. Sets Upshaw, left-handed swing, kept alive, Kanapke got it inside to Candy Cane. Upshaw will swing one more time, and that one hits the floor. He's in double digits with 10 kills so far in this matchup. Josie Hutchins now serving. Kanapke, back set, and a kill for Paige on trial. Freshman Campbell Etzler, serving. Into the back row, Carly Hutchins, the set. Upshaw, the swing, popped up by Etzler. And Shawnee shrinks the lead back to five at 16-11 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Mackenzie Brickner about to serve for the visitors. Kanapke, blossom game, just long. I think Coldwater wanted a touch uh, at the yeah. net. But they're not going to get it. Well, I think you are correct. And a lead, now four. Brickner serves. Kanapke right back to blossom game, oh, up man. high and down hard. The lead back to five. I don't know if there's anyone in America that can return that, return that one. It's set up that beautifully for the Cavs. Rudis still a swing. Dug out by Etzler. Kanapke. Blocked into that by the Indians. As Jordan will pass to Upshaw. Left-handed swinging down for the freshman. I'm telling you, both these teams almost like midseason form. It's yep. very, very early in the season. And once we got past the kind of service errors there in the first set, not been much rust for either side. As Kanapke will pass to Blazing game. Jordan keeps it alive. And down the line, out of play. And the lead remains with the Cavaliers at 18-13. I think Rudisel that time was trying to find the corner and just did not get it down the line inside. Blossing game to serve. Sammy Reddick back on for Shawnee. She'll make the pass up ahead to Hutchins. Kanapke quickly to Harlow High. It's blocked and will find the floor. And the Indians trying to sustain a little life here in the closing stages of set number three. Coldwater took set number one, 25-20. Number two, 25-22. As Kanapke back sets, blocked on the swing by Roaring. And the Indians are in the end. Oh, they're calling for the prolonged contact, and it's a five point lead once more for Coldwater. Kira Kanapke. Serving. 5'10 junior. Reddick receives. Hutchins. 
Sends it over. Miscommunication by the Cavaliers. They'll surrender the point to the Indians. Nineteen fifteen. A little bit of a run here for Shawnee. They trailed 15-9. Oh, nice ace. A great serve by Maggie Jordan. Cuts the lead to three. Kanapke, cross-court pass, Etzler kills it. She has a dozen for tonight. It's now 2016 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. As Hines serves. Jordan back set Hutchins. Got it off the Cavalier block. Joust at the net. Hits the floor and the point to the Indians. Gianna Upshaw back on the floor. For Shawnee. As Carly Hutchins. Send it away. Kanapke tries to dump it in the pot. Does. Oh, wow. Perfect placement in the front row along the line. The lead is now four with four to go for the cold water. Spencer Etzler serving. Into the back row, dug out by Rudisil. And it's out of play on the far side, 22-17. Etzler, one more time. The ace. Etzler, you could say she has what would be called a double-double. 11 points, 12 kills. You know, I don't know if there's such thing as a double-double <laughs> in volleyball, but... We can make it up. Etzler, just over the tape. Returns again. And wide. Another ace for Spencer Etzler, and it's now match point for the Cavaliers. Just five aces tonight. 24-17, Etzler. Hutchins. Upshaw, swing, dug out by Etzler. And we'll get a in the net. Cavalier in the net. That was Mia Kanapke. So Shawnee stays alive on the first match point. Josie Hutchins serves. The freshman. Boxing game. Passes to Etzler. She'll dump it over. Hutchins, back set, Upshaw, swings, dug out by Campbell Etzler. Blossing game, the swing, long, and Shawnee lives to fight another day. Hutchins to serve. Kanapke, quick back set, on drop, kept alive by Josie Hutchins. That's a tough handle, and Coldwater will take the point and the match at 25-19 in set number three. Coldwater sweeps Shawnee 25-20, 25-22, and 25-19 here in set number three. Jeff, final thoughts from tonight's high school volleyball matchup? Well, you're talking about Coldwater now going 4-0. Uh, Morgan Blasen game at 19 kills in the matchup. As we mentioned, Spencer Esler for, for, for a, a cold water finish with a total of 12 points and 12 kills in the matchup. But you, know, you got the good feeling about uh, Lima Shawnee. They replaced some valuable seniors from last year with a couple of freshmen. They're talking uh, Gianna Upshaw and Josie Hutchins. And then Coldwater. They have three seniors. Uh, Lima, Shawnee, they have five seniors. But boy, this early matchup kind of gives you a little bit of gauge that, you know what, both these teams are going to be good this yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. Great measuring stick contest here early in the season. And like we said, Coldwater takes it in three sets. 25-20, 25-22, and 
19. With the win, Coldwater moves to 4-0. Meanwhile, Shawnee drops 2-1 and 1. That'll do it from us here in Coldwater for our fantastic WOSN crew and Jeff Overholzer. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. We'll catch you next time here on WOSN.